Hopefully one of them doesn't have a problem. I had to awkwardly get it into the box. It's the only box that somewhat fit the handlebars. I sold everything else was slightly not wide enough. This I kind of crammed it and hoped for the best. Just enough to be able to shut the top wall. Hopefully, it'll fit in the lobby drop box. That way, I don't have to deal with anyone. So far, the bike I got on Sunday, last time I checked, was like four hours ago, five hours ago, depending on when the last bid came in. It was $610. So far, my best sale. 100 was my previous. Still has until Monday the 7th. Today is Saturday the 5th. And I listed it because I was lazy at like 4.15 instead of earlier in the day for whatever reason. So we'll see what's up well, after it ends. I had to lower the price because it has a crack in it. So then all these people are asking me how much I'd take for it. But before the crack was seen, I had an offer come in for 850. I think it was, it was either 800 or 850. And then he sent me another offer later. And the day, well, that was on Thursday, I think, but then yesterday, after I added that there was a crack and showed him the pictures I had, then he sent me one for 650. So we'll see. There was two people going in a bid war and when I left it had 69 people watching it so I'm just gonna see what happens now that I know there's a crack in the rear triangle my expectations are slightly lower but so far 600 isn't bad 610 not bad at all especially with a crack in it better so we'll see had someone offer me 250 yesterday after I added that it had the crack and someone else offered me 200 and then every couple hours I was dropping it from I think I had it at 800 or a thousand yesterday and I slowly dropped it to 2,000. I mean, 200. I dropped it from 800 to 1,000 to 200. And then, like five to 10 minutes after that, I got a starting bid 
floor 200, then it went up a little, then it started going up a bit this morning, so we'll see. If I could get as much as possible, that would be nice because then I could pay off my PayPal credit, which is delinquent, not on purpose, it's just how things went. I didn't have any, my sales have been kind of up and down the last six months or so. So, with that happening, I haven't been at, my payments have been all over the place for that, especially because I had some other stuff, so I was kind of having to throw it all around depending on how much I had and they all, all of them were going around the same time they all were due around the 20th maybe a couple days later, maybe a couple days before if not on the 20th so that, that got annoying but I got two of them paid for Affirm for my bike that I'm on and my backpack that I have on me but the PayPal has been annoying just because I had three to deal with. Then I bought my new phone and that became four. And then finally, <coughs> a few weeks ago, I had to make a payment plan for the withstanding balance because I used the pay the easy payment system on Macari for it. I only made one payment or two payments. Same reason. Didn't have the money. But I lucked out and had enough. Earlier in the week <coughs> since it was like a $198 and some odd synth left unpaid I went to the collection agency so it's like 32 and some odd change for the next couple months so hopefully I can keep that good and actually have the money at least I got one payment on time, so that's something. Hopefully I can get my sales up. The next few weeks. Hoping I have enough to pay the whole balance for my PayPal. A little over half since it's 700 something so we'll see again not intentional it's just since I don't have a real job I don't know how much I'll ever make it fluctuates from day to day and week to week depending on my sales but since the bike is at 610 and it has Two days left. Should be pretty good. I just about that SUV. I got all off As I do. start. Don't think I have any water today. <sighs> Wasn't expecting to go anywhere but I dropped the price on the handlebars a few bucks and then a guy liked them. Well no he liked and then I dropped them. I think, I think you're 
he would have liked it right before, right after I dropped him. And then he sent me a, I dropped it to 28 from 30. Cause I had like three or four people liked it on Macari. So I wanted them to see the notification. And then he sent me an offer for 24. And I gladly accepted because that was an extra 20 bucks and they've only been listed for like three or four days so that was fine by me actually more than i expected i priced them high assuming to get low ball but he was the only person that sent me an offer everyone else just ignored my offers and my couple of price drops as well wonder if this I think this might help me I think this oh it passes open I'm not certain I'm pretty sure because they're working on two others and when they were doing the six they said they'd be doing one at a time and with the first two they did them one and the other Pretty sure I made it to my mom and open. And they have two more that they're working on simultaneously as of last week or week before. It looks like I'm correct, which will help if I'm correct. I can't tell though. It looks like the, uh, this car is coming toward me. Uh, Save myself a few minutes. You know, there's a little detour. Could have got here quicker. I thought about it. But I hadn't. Alright. Let's see. Might cut across. Still can't tell it's open. Looks like it though. angle with the blind spot oh yeah no it's open I see a car car going from the other side wonderful that'll make it a lot easier when I go home save like five to ten minutes especially since I'm not going that quick I have to walk up though. Looks like I'm lacking the water. It's kind of warm. Yes. So I need to stop forgetting my bell. But I do keep forgetting it. Oh, there you go. See a poopa coming. And I just hit a pothole. Never fun. Regular before I left. Peanut butter and coffee together for my breakfast. And then beans, rice, and cheese for my lunch. All kinds of fiber. six months or so or oh, maybe yes no maybe so I don't remember for a while 
at least all the overpasses around town so they can make them regulation they wanted them higher by like two or three feet so that's what they did tore them down made them higher uh, this is no fun because there's a bunch of fresh Ugh, that was not fun good thing my stomach isn't as sensitive as it used to be a bunch of fertilizer and a bunch of cow poop Oof. in the wind as I walked by not fun good thing it wasn't much of a wind and there wasn't a breeze that would have sucked alright now I'm gonna have more cow poop lovely can we can the light turn green? oh boy I don't need to go that way but it'll help just cut on the brakes that I don't want to go uphill so I'll go this way go the rest of your way It has this positives and it's negatives. It's helpful and it's not helpful. Every so often there's a bunch of glass that I never see it in time. Which sucks. But luckily it's not too far from my house. It still sucks though. First five ten minutes of leaving felt a little jumble and the rumble in my tumble. I'm not trying to go too quick. Gotta excite my bowels and have a BM. Oh, I got band practice. Didn't invite me. We're having a concert. Did I have band practice without me? Give me your bike, bro. I can use it right now. Yeah. Don't know why, but the first thing I thought of was the Lindsay Lohan. Of all the things, all the TV shows and movies that I've seen over the years, having band practice in the garage at the house, of course I think Lindsay Lohan's Freaky Friday because I'm obsessed in a very healthy way with Christina Vidal. I love Christina Vidal. You ever watch Taina? That was the show. Or Brie? Fell in love with Gabby when I was 10. And she was whatever. I 
Yeah, I'm full of that. I think I'm just gonna uh, stop recording when I get there. So if I forget to say it, like, share, subscribe, leave a comment, tell your friends, tell your mom, tell your dad, tell your aunt, tell your uncle. Okay, I think you get the test. Hopefully I can get both of my back wheels fixed because having two single seat fixed wheels both with one broken spoke it's not very far. I'm wondering if nobody was walking her dog in the back or this neighborhood cat. She was close. Pretty funny. Odd couple. Brown tabby. And a pit bull. <laughs> Alright. I guess I'll never know. I wasn't a good ride, but I wanted to get out. I haven't ridden my bike since Thursday. It's Saturday. Been watching my sister's dog. Plus, I've been, still been super tired. Yesterday, so far today, yesterday, and most of Thursday, I felt better. Not as exhausted and out of it. But, I've just been walking both Harry and my parents' dog. My parents' dog barked at me this morning. Then she realized that I was coming to get her. She was going to walk with us this morning. She barked. But then, once I opened the door, she realized what was going on. So she ran out and waited by the front door for me to grab her leash. It was just funny to see her reaction. It only took a few seconds. As soon as I said, let's go, or whatever I said, she got it. Weird little dog. I think it was yesterday morning. She did something similar. Or sometime yesterday, she threw her ball. I thought she was throwing it to me. Maybe she was just throwing it into the hallway for no reason. But she tossed it. I went to grab it. And then she ran away and started barking at me. Very decisive. Made me laugh. Since it seemed like she was being friendly. Then she went back to normal. <sighs> Should have crossed sooner. I knew I'd regret it. Ugh. Stupid Saturday traffic. I always forget about that. Good, good. Uh, I'm trying to get off the street. It's really that hard. There's no sun across after light. And use the crosswalk sign. Too busy to cut across. I forget that sometimes on Saturdays and Sundays and holidays. It is. Well, that's what I want. Press the wrong button, did I? Uh, 
exciting content. Uh -huh. All that effort. Yes. To get across the street. Sorry, ma'am. I'm out of your way. Going to more graves. Food incorporated. Wonder if I have a million questions. Or. Uh, any new bids on the bike? Put my phone at home. Uh, it's gonna be this long. Uh, I knew it would take me a little bit. I was feeling kind of tired. But it's silly. It's just because of the detour. Went the long way down my street. Oh, I went down Sonoma, and I went back. <sighs> Need some water. Keep saying if I get some. Uh, oh, I'm like seven blocks away. Eight blocks. Uh, on the home stretch. But then I still have to go home. Put my backpack. We'll be lighter. About like four or five pounds. Still has two tools in it, but that's okay. Not too heavy. Since I took my lockout and chain on accident, uh, I'm just talking. Pissed. I was like he was gonna yell at his wife or girlfriend, but he saw me and possibly the GoPro. And he just got out the truck to check out the trailer. Looking very hostile and irritated. Sounds like me. All right. So now they're fixing this one. I'm gonna take the easy way and I'll go uphill. Go a little further and just go the straight way. A little easier when I'm lazy. But now this is one of the two overpasses they're working on. For whatever reason, they decided to do this one on Tennessee Street and simultaneously the one for Georgia. Maybe to have them both. <clears throat> Maybe to be, even though it'll be annoying for a few months, once they're done, they're both ready. Something I was assuming that was the logic do both of them you know the inconvenience people okay I'm gonna stop talking and turn this video off it's only 22 minutes and I already had another one of those five it took so long alright see you later like share subscribe I love you you're wonderful